Seniors, thank you so much for four fun years. It's uh, really sad to see you uh, leave us here, but I know you guys are excited and I can't wait to see you all tomorrow as you're picking up your stuff. Uh, just enjoy this, this time you have, relish this last little bit of time at Mack High, and then just, we can't wait to see what you do. We know you're gonna do great things. We've enjoyed you so much, and I, I've especially enjoyed all of my students in forestry and in physical science and all those other ones. And AP Biology trips, man, those are the best. So I'll have great memories of this senior class, and thank you so much for everything you've done for the school, and good luck as you go to the next phase of your life. Thank you. Hey seniors, it's Mrs. Clarno. Just wanted to say congratulations. You guys have been a very resilient class and I am proud of all of you and very grateful to have had such a wonderful group of kids. Uh, ESA students, keep on uh, pursuing your dreams and I'm very proud to have had you as students. I'm gonna miss you guys. Congratulations, McMinnville Grizzlies, and way to go, Cook students. Yay! Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. It's me, Mr. Gray, just hanging out in my kitchen, wearing my awesome Class of 2020 Seniors shirt, drinking a little bit of my Diet Coke, and just thinking about Class of 2020. First of all, I just wanted to say how proud I am of you class of 2020 this has been a wild wild year it's been crazy and i just wanted to say that i have such pride and joy for everybody in the class of 2020. um yeah there is a little sadness that i don't get to celebrate your graduation with you due to the covid but I think overall, I just have such gratitude to getting to know you and to being your teacher and mentor and role model. And I've had so many of you in class, either as Film is Lit, RIP, or in freshman language arts. Uh, I had a lot of you in freshman year. Uh, man, you guys were turkeys. It was wild, it was so much fun. Period seven, I'm looking at you, but I wouldn't take any of it back for the world. You guys are, are remarkable kids and I'm trying not to cry here. And I know you're gonna do so much uh, with your time and I'm so excited. You better email me next year uh, and check in. So I wanna leave you with a toast that I always do when I'm drinking soda, Lachayim which is Yiddish for to, to life. That's for you, class of 2020. I'm gonna miss you. And it only gets downhill from here. I'm kidding. All right, bye. Hey seniors, this is Ms. Brown and Manchester Brown, uh, wishing you a fantastic future in whatever your endeavors may be. Bye. Hey Grizzlies, Senior Class of 2020, congratulations, I salute you. The Corona Class, the Construction Class, the coolest class around, Class of 2020. Best of luck on your future endeavors and congratulations to all of you. Sorry it had to end this way, but we're excited for your future and I sure appreciated all the fun we had over the years. Take care, good luck, Go Grizzlies! Grizzlies for life! Congratulations to all the seniors. I want to give a special shout out to the Environmental Club this year and the graduating seniors who helped with so many different events throughout the year. Great co-presidents Chloe Bachman and Nick Payton did such a great job organizing and overseeing our monthly meetings as well as the recycling every week the presentation to the city for the emergency climate resolution as well as applying for the oregon green schools and participating in the ocean bowl so in addition to chloe and nick maya barnes and nalina Kanoi were really instrumental in with uh in working on the ocean bowl as well as um, getting those cans dealt with each week and carmela reynolds too did a great job with that 
and other seniors who participated and were planning to help out with the spring video and the Earth Week events. I know that your heart was in it and I'm sad we didn't get to finish out the year together, but just wanted to say thanks so much. I'm so proud of this team and I wish you all the best. Thanks. Lots of good wishes from the class of 2000. After 20 years, I can tell you that life goes by in a blink and no matter whether or not the experience is good or bad, you're going to learn something from it and you're going to carry that with you and you're going to do awesome things. So congratulations, class of 2020. Hey guys, Mr. Brisbane here with a quick message for the class of 2020. Hey, I had a lot of you guys in class this year and I just want to say it was a privilege to have each and every single one of you sitting in my classroom this year. Um, it was an honor to share the class with you guys. I have come to realize that the class of 2020 is both smart and empathetic. You guys know when to have fun uh, and you also know when to really work for something that truly matters to you and I admire that about you guys. Um, up until now I've, I've had this role as a teacher and maybe even for some of you a mentor but um, I truly hope that moving forward you would also consider me a friend. So thank you for the great year. Congratulations on your graduation and all the things that you have coming up ahead of you. To the class of 2020, I just wanna say that I love you, that you will always hold a special place in my heart, um, and that I have enjoyed every experience that I've gotten to share with you guys over the last four years. Um, to all of my aides this year, every single aide I had this year was a senior. Um, I wish you the best of luck. I am so sad that we didn't get to have a formal goodbye, um, but I know you all are going to go on and do really great things and I will still be here. So you will always have our support and our love and you can come back to visit us um, in the future. Bye. Class of 2020, good luck. We love you. Um, you were my first class at McMinnville High School. You will always hold a very special place in my heart. Um, I have so many great memories of your energy, your spunk, your authenticity, uh, but more than anything, you guys give us so much hope for the future. We love you. Happy graduation. Hi, class of 2020. I just wanted to come here and say that I love you and I miss you all. And I'm so glad that we get to celebrate you, even if it's in a small way. And as I was thinking about filming this, I was wondering, you know, what is it that I want this class to take away from this experience. And when I think of the class of 2020 at McMinnville High School, all I can think about is resilience. You guys have gone through so many ups and downs with construction and this pandemic, and all of you are still coming together and supporting one another and loving each other. And there's just something so beautiful about your ability to stay on top and stay positive and understand that you know, your high school story may not be the same as most, if any, um, but you are all together being lovely and wonderfully beautiful human beings who can totally get through this. And we just, we are so lucky that this is the class that, you know, is going through this because you all can handle it and you're handling it so well. And we love you all and we're so proud of you. And I'm so excited to see where you all go from here uh, with your futures because you have represented MHS in just the most beautiful way the four years you've been here and we are gonna miss you deeply. Class of 2020, from the minute I started working at McMinnville School District in 2005, we were talking about your class. What did we want for the class of 2020? What we didn't want was a pandemic and to cut your senior year short. But what we did want for you was happiness and hopefulness and success and so many of you already embody those things. When I think about your class, I think about so many of you. I think about the students who I had year after year in Intro to Psychology and APUSH and AVID. I think about your junior year, my seventh period that always seemed to get me off on tangents but also kept me laughing. I think about my AVID crew and how you looked at me with all kinds of skepticism the first day that we met, but I hope that you know how much I care about you now. I, I just have so many great memories of the class of 2020 and I wish you all well. Congratulations. Hey class of 2020, congratulations. Just want to give a few special shout outs. First to all of the seniors that were a part of Team Siskiyou. Team Siskiyou is for life. 
So just wanna say that all of your team teachers are so proud of you and everything that you guys have accomplished your years here at the high school. And as a wise man once said, started from the bottom, now we here. Yeah. Next, I wanna give a awesome shout out to my four wonderful, brilliant, beautiful, lovely seniors from the volleyball team. You girls gave everything to this program and people. Hey seniors, I just wanna say good luck to you all and how much uh, I have loved working with you and will miss you as you leave McMinnville High School and McMinnville proper. And uh, for those of you who have worked closely with for the last six or seven years uh, in class and through the middle school and high school, after school, um, I'll truly miss you. And for that one senior out there that I've worked with since you were fourth, bouncing around the couch, listening to G Love and Special Sauce, love you. Class of 2020, I love you. And I know that the world is better having you in it. Already you've overcome challenges and you've demonstrated your resilience and your hope and you know that the world needs you. I'm proud to have been a part of your journey so far and I look forward to witnessing all the goodness you generate. So on this, the week before your graduation, I offer you one of my favorite sentiments and it comes from Pema Chodron, she says, you are the sky. The rest is just weather. Remember this and may it serve you, especially when things are hard, it's just weather. All right, be amazing. I love you. Congrats class of 2020, we love you. Class of 2020, this is one for the books. Wishing you all the best. Had no idea things were gonna end up the way that they have, but you're an awesome group. You're gonna go far. You'll have interesting memories of your high school graduation. Congratulations. Hey, hey class of 2020. Congratulations. It's the Houstons here. Um, so what we wanted to do is we wanted to give you some advice. Top five secrets to success in life according to us. To us. So, I don't know. Take it or leave it. Um, number five, take care of yourself. As you are heading out into the real world, um, take care of yourself physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Wear sunscreen. Don't smoke. You know I'm always telling you that. Um, what You have to take care of yourself so you can take care of others. All right, guys. So, my number four is stay young at heart guys just always have fun always play always make time for you to enjoy life because sometimes we get so caught up in pursuing the next goal and working and buying the next thing always stay young always have fun in your life yeah that's good honey um okay next number three is number three Seek knowledge. I know right now you're graduating high school and you're like yeah. done with all things school, um, but knowledge doesn't necessarily mean school. Keep pursuing knowledge, whether that be through higher education, reading, talking to people about things that just know more than you. Um, never stop learning and life will continue to be fun. I'm going to throw in Don Rutschman's quote. Oh, you have two ears and one mouth for a reason, guys. Keep those ears <laughs> open. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. DR, you're so DR's smart. DR's the man. Okay, um, number two, pursue your passions. Man, I wish somebody would have told me that when I was 18 years old. I'm now 40, um, and the same passions I had when I was 18 years old, I still have to this day. They haven't changed. I second guess myself along the way. Um, but I've realized that that's what makes me unique and that's what makes me special. And that's exactly what makes you guys special. Yeah. So just remember that. Pursue your passion and everybody's gonna be a little different. And sometimes if you don't know what your passion is, um, try a whole lot of things and find it. Say yes. Okay, last thing. We nailed this. We nailed it. Bingo. Um, secret to life number one is find a good spouse. I did. I did. 
Dang. I was going to say, fun of smoking hot water. But, but, you know, but, but I mean by that, though, is find somebody who treats others well, somebody who's kind, somebody who's going to um, be your partner through thick and thin and, um, and make life fun. Yeah. Build a good life, y'all. You have all of the tools to do it. Um, we know you. We love you. Um, you mean a lot to us. You guys are rock stars. Keep Congratulations. it up. Congratulations. Congrats.